And people, I'll say this. I'll say this and I'll admit this right now. I was doing it a lot. And after having many discussions with this guy right here, then I second guess my thought. Am I doing this because I'm looking for something? Because I'll do it and then I leave the store. Or if I couldn't, then I'll just say, ma'am, you mind if I do this or whatever, whatever. Usually, yes, yes, yes. What is that and then doing? I started second guessing myself. Should I do this? Am I searching for something? No, you're doing with your heart. That's what I was doing it with. That's what I your was heart. doing it with. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. Or your ego? Yes. No. no. <laughs>
oh, we just got out of school. We want to just get some. That is not. Do your parents know you're doing this? No. Y'all can't keep doing this right here. Right, when we so, were younger, wait, wait. When we were younger, okay, okay. what did we do when we was 10 years old? I'm from Alabama. Me and two of my friends, actually, we started like maybe eight. We pushed a lawnmower. Two lawnmowers and one kid carried the gas. And we cut grass to get candy, to go to the swimming pool, to just do different things. We, our kids, the kids are watching us. Everything can't be a handout. But do I still give? At times, yes, I do. All right. So this, look, check this out. Check this out. Hear me out on this one. If you give them money, no matter what they look like, no matter what they dressed in, are you really helping them out? Anybody can give you a sap sob story. Anybody, yeah. right? Yeah. Right? Anybody can. So in your mind, you're like, okay, well, I should give it to him because he looks homeless. He looks like he on bad times. He gave me a sob story. You ever heard the expression, give a man a fish he eats for a day, give a man uh, a fish, I mean, teach him how to fish, he, he, uh, fish he, he eats forever? Yes. Right, you heard that, right? So all you're doing is giving fish. What does that teach them? No matter adult or child, what does that teach them? That, hey, look, I don't even have to work. All I can do is give this story, this sob story, and then there you go. I got the money. You know those guys that be out there, I will work for food, homeless vet, blah, 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 right? They give you all these different little, you know, sob stories, and you just feel sorry. Who are you to feel sorry for them? Who are you? Right? I mean, I know you, you, you're the religious guy, right? You're the religious guy. So if you're the religious guy, you don't need to play God then. That's basically what you're doing. You're saying, hey, you're less than of. I need you to have this. That's basically what you're telling them. It's like, hey, look, I know you're on bad times. You look bad. I have more. Give to you. That's a judgment call, right? Well, <laughs> you, you asking that question. Uh -oh. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You, you, you asking that question right there. Uh, not trying to play God. Uh, not trying to play God. Mm, I don't I don't like mm, that statement. So okay, I disagree. Okay. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. Mm -hmm. But I think everyone has fallen on some bad times. Of course. At times. Of course. Yes. So okay. If pause I right there. Have... Pause, pause right there. Have you ever fallen on bad times? Yes. Did you go ask them for somebody, somebody for some money? No. Exactly. Let me tell you something. Hey. Exactly. Hey, wait, wait. Exactly. You can go with your little story. You can do your whole story. That's hey. exactly what I'm saying. You ain't never went up to somebody, hey, can I get five dollars? Oh, no, 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 no. I need, no, I need no. to pay my life bill. Can I? You've never done that. What did you do? <laughs> Pull up your bootstraps. Hey, oh, baby. He, he Pull up your me. bootstrap. Figure out how to make it happen, right? Yes, That's exactly yes. what you do. What are these other people doing? They they figured out how to make it happen because they y'all the suckers. Y'all the suckers. Let so they figured this. out how to make it happen. It's like let's go to this sucker and get his money, and I don't even have to work for it. Why do I have to go work for it when I can stay on this block, make thousand dollars a day, depending on what city you in? You can make a plenty of money, man. Well, $5, dollars, five dollars here, five dollars here, five. Dollars. Let me ask you this. Have you ever given to the homeless person? No. No. Mm -hmm. And every time they come up to me, no matter if I'm leaving out of a store, going into a store, at the gas station, wherever, I'll be like, nah, man, I ain't got no cash. I ain't got no cash, bro. No, 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 bro. I ain't got no cash. Because what are they doing to receive this cash? Just asking. That's all they're doing. They're not trying to work. You know that there, if you got if you got immigrants, come on now. If you got immigrants coming over here, finding a way to work, what's holding them back? You got people that can't even speak English, putting up roofs, 
working out, uh, uh, working on, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, on the freeway out there, putting, you know, helping them out. They be standing up at, at Home Depot. They make, they making a way for their family. They're not out here like, hey, live, can I get five dollars? No. They coming across that border and be like, hey, I, I can work. I got, I'm good with my hands, you know. Because in other words, they will be homeless, right? Right. And I will say this. It's all nationalities that does does this. Okay, don't just put it oh, on. Oh, no, I'm not saying black people. Okay. I'm not saying black uh, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm, saying I'm, I'm that saying, either. I know I'm just saying that. American homeless people. You are, I think you are part of the problem. Oh, well, well no, I'm not going to disagree with you wholeheartedly <laughs> again. Okay. You are part of the problem. No, because I don't continue to do that. I did change or whatever. Yeah, I, did change, but I used to no, no. I used to give all the time every day, every day. Mm -hmm. But there'll be someone else asking. And, and one other point, we do have people that's mentally unstable that can't hold down a job. I know that I'm it sound like I'm making excuses, but I'm I'm not you trying are. to no you are. no go ahead though. I, or whatever. I, I, we, we can so we, we take Let's those, hear. we take those accounts too. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um you making that judgment call. Remember, remember, you're no, the judge of no, them. No, no, I'm not the judge of them. Yes, you so are, are you making the judgment. Are, are you gonna have the conversation with them? They ask you, hey, can I get a dollar? You got any change? Hey man, you know you can go get a job. Do you have a conversation? Do you say anything to these people? Or do no, you keep no, it I'm moving? moving? I'm moving. Uh, I'm, okay. I keep it moving. I keep it moving. Okay. Now, mind you, they probably got everything that they really need. They just got a bad habit. What's that bad habit? Kane, man, what's that bad habit? That bad habit is drugs. Come on. Alco yeah. Alcohol. You know what I mean? Like, that's you give them the money to feed their habit. You know and, what I'm saying? And, yeah. and what can you say about that? I mean, you're, see, that's why I'm saying that you are part of the problem. I mean, uh, you're I, I giving them the, the, the ammunition. To feed their habit. Well, and I'll tell you this. Okay, you made up a good point of alcohol and drugs. Pretty much number one thing that they uh, mm -hmm. usually go for. So yeah. I had a individual. I always see this lady in Jacksonville, different spots everywhere, begging for money, mm -hmm. all of this mm -hmm. stuff, whatever. So I saw her at this one spot. I was running the Dollar Tree and uh, she asked for some money. So I'm hungry. I said, okay, well, I'll bring you something out of there. I got some Vienna sausages and some chips and uh, Gatorade because it was a hot day. Yeah. She took Good the Gatorade. Her. She took the Gatorade. Said, I don't want these Vienna sausages. I don't even like these chips. You can take this stuff back. So, okay. Well, ma'am, hey, you have a good day. And it was like a slap in the face, but exactly. hey, it's okay. Exactly. I, I, I was trying to help. So I'm not giving money uh, for the people all the time. No way. No way. If it, oh, I'm hungry. If I have time, man, I run and get, man, these burgers, 69 cents a dollar. Here you go. They'll say thank you. It's yeah. many things. It's many yeah, drives. I can do that too. Whatever. I can okay. be like, Miss Man, I'm hungry. Man, let me go to Burger King and grab you something. Now I keep doing that to you. You be like, huh, man, hold on, bro. I know you got money. I know you got money, man. Yeah. But you do that on a consistent basis. Because I remember you telling me, and I mean, the audience, they don't know about it, but I remember you telling me that you were, you like to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look, look, look. I was Go to the dollar store or any, any store. It could be Walmart, dollar store, whatever. Yeah, but you yeah. go in there and you see a single mom. She yeah. with her kids trying to get them together, trying to buy the stuff, whatever, whatever. You will straight up, you will straight up pay for their stuff. Okay. So what does that mean? Tell me, what does that mean? Well, that means to me, to me, I, I see it like this. I think it's more of ego than anything. That's the reason why people give to the homeless. It's for their ego. You're part of the problem. 
Well, I, I will say this on that, and I, I understand your point of view because we have discussed this. Uh, audience and if uh, family, if you have done something like that, let us know, okay? And it wouldn't just be single mothers. You know, I, I do love the kids and I love elderly people. So I will be in grocery stores or Walmart and I see that elderly person or yeah, single mom or whatever. I done did it for a guy before, but they was like, hey, you know, it was different. It was different. Uh, but getting a bare necessity, this lady has three kids. She got two packs of bologna, bread, cheese, milk, grits. I know that is essential items right there. It is no time for no candy or anything because I have went through something like that before. So I said, well, let me bless them. I pay for it. Or okay, whatever. God. Okay, I'm God. not trying to be God. Yes, you are. God. Yes, you are. Yes, that's you are. Because right there, I'm not. No, trying that, to that's be what God. you're doing. That's exactly what you're doing. You're playing God, bro. Bro, you, you're sitting there looking at the situation, making a judgment call that they need your help. They need your help, and who are you? That's an ego thing that's in your head. No, that right there well, is in your head. It's an ego thing. But that was, but that's not my intentions right there for it to be an ego head because. But it is because you feel good once you do it. You feel good even if you don't see the reaction from them. You still feel good in your heart that you did a good. Thing. I don't. This is this is what the religion will do to you. Yeah. Well, this I, is what the this is what the religion will do to you when the religion will be like oh give well, to the homeless do this give that give this give 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 it and, and in turn you will receive blessings right. Blessings, right? You don't even know your it's, blessings. You don't even know your blessings until you be still. I, 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 I like want to do it to you. I, I don't want to do it to you. Still. You don't even know. You need to sit there and be still before you and even you, know the blessings. And you have heard this. It's better to give than to receive. You have. I know I'm getting yeah, a little. Of uh, what does that mean? What does that mean to you? Because you've heard it. You've heard it plenty of times, so he's like, oh, "I'm gonna just run with this because I'm gonna get some blessings. As oh, much well, as I you, give, I should get something." No, no, no. You don't go with that. You don't go with that mindset. You don't go with that okay. mindset. And that's not okay. what I try to do. Okay, what do you do? What and do you talking do? to you and people, I say this. I say this, and I admit this right now. I was doing it a lot, and after having many discussions with this guy right here. Then I second guess my thought, am I doing this because I'm looking for something because I'll do it and then I leave the store? Or if I couldn't, then I'll just say, ma'am, you mind if I do this or whatever, whatever. Usually, yes, yes, yes. What is that and then mean? I started second guessing myself. Should I do this? Am I searching for something? No, you're doing with your heart. That's what I was doing it with. That's what I was your doing heart, it with. You sure? Are you sure? Yes. Or your ego? Yes. Not, not with the ego. the ego, man. That's that's. How that's does it your make you? How, how does it? How does it make you feel once you do it? I, I just want to know right now. When once you pay for somebody, you give somebody, give the homeless some money, or you pay for the groceries or whatever. How does it make you feel? You I, leave, I leave and um, I leave the store immediately, not to see nobody's reaction. Okay. Homeless, then uh, you, you, the burden right here. A homeless, you get first homeless dollars. He's sitting there doing whatever, asking for some money. You actually have some money, or they, or you see a woman with a little baby, and that looks sad. Oh man, and she's out here. <laughs> yeah, that, <was> like, <laughs> that looks sad, right? Yeah, it almost make you wanna, you know what I mean? So yeah. you walk up on it, and you're like, man, here, here's twenty dollars. How does that make you feel? And she's like, thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. This will help us get some, some food this evening. We'll have dinner tonight. Thank you. How does that make you feel? Whenever I do things of that nature, giving them money or whatever, I feel good that I was able to bless them with that. <laughs> Not no ego. ego. No, yes. no, I'm gonna say yes, nephew. you say ego. You yes. say ego. I'm not saying ego. I'm not saying ego, Kane. Yes, because well, if I was in a position, good. huh? 
what's making you feel good? So if you just did it just to do it because you thought it needed to be done, then there's no emotion involved. When I say it's no, it's no different from you going in your house and you say you see something that need to be fixed, you fix it. You don't feel good about it. You fix it because it need to be done. And no difference I, from giving them money. I'm gonna give you a timeout. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give you a timeout right there, Roger. That. But no. Go ahead, I, when go I ahead. say I feel good about it, it's because I feel like I was blessed enough to be able to do it. That's what I'm talking about. Not anything with endorphins and feeling that uh, feeling right there. No. I feel like God blessed me enough. And people don't want to get too religious, spiritual, y'all. But I do was it. blessed He's enough gonna to... He's going to run with this one. Go ahead. To, to be able to do that. Now, I don't do the giving the money away much now. Why? I, I don't. I don't. Why not be uh, a blessing to everybody that you run across? Where it, does, where does well, it stop? When well, does let it me tell you something. Well, let me tell you something. I'm listening. Because it can it can always I found myself giving so much. Who gonna if I give too much and then I gotta my car just break down or something, something crazy happens. Man, I I'm averaging a lot of money just giving it away. I'm just giving it away. Yeah. So now you consider it's like okay, it gets to a point that it's giving away versus blessing. First, it was a blessing because you had it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, but now it's, it's digging into my pockets and I can't pay my bills or take care of myself. Then it becomes a different issue. Yeah, that's, that's a this good is how I feel. This is how I feel. This, look, look, nephew, this is how I feel about this. And when it comes to these, um, you know, homeless people or less fortunate, I, yeah. or, I don't even know if they're less fortunate. They may be on hard times now. Whatever, you know. So I've... I've came across uh, people, you know, they came across me, uh, even family. Family then reached out to me and said, hey, Kane, man, I need X amount of dollars. I need X amount of dollars. My life's about to get cut off or whatever the case may be. I said, okay. I said, I give it to you, but you got to give me something. Yeah, man, I'll pay you back. I said, you ain't got to pay me back. This is what I want to give you. I want to give you knowledge. So what you mean? Oh, yeah. I'm going to give you knowledge in What's the reason? Let's find the ground reason that's causing you to go check the check or not taking care of your finances. Mm -hmm. Let's sit down. Let's do a budget. And when we do this budget, you better be honest with me on everything, everything. The things that you was like, man, I didn't even know I was paying. Tell me everything. I put a budget plan together for you. You stick to it. You will have that financial freedom that you want. But and they think it's all about the, I need to get this job. I need to get this degree. I need to, no, no. You need to look at what you have and where you at, where you're located at. So my, my, my thing to this whole homeless thing is give them knowledge versus giving. That would be that blessing. The blessing is they didn't know about this. They didn't know how to get a job. They didn't know how to do all these different things. They didn't know these things. So I'm blessing them. With knowledge versus dollars, that's where you, that's where the um, less fortunate communities get caught up. They well, I like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, I, I like and that you said it. And a, I agree. A, yeah, it blends into the, the the black community. How you know they ain't got no money, so the government give them a little money for some food stamps for housing assistance. What what motivates them to move forward? Nothing. Nothing. Just stay right here. I'm gonna stay right here. It got that's you it. giving a blessing. It gotta that's be within self. Yes. I, I have to I want to make sure that they are knowledgeable of what to get out of that situation that they're in. But you on a turn on a other turn, you look at a situation, either they explain the situation to you or you judge that situation that you see. Either way, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing, man. That's exactly what you're doing. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna be the God in this situation. I'm a blessing. Because God only God's the only one to give down blessings. So I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing. And I'm gonna give them $20 to get them something to eat. And then they'll be in they, tomorrow. 
if you pass by them again, you'll probably give it to them again. If not, somebody else will. No. And you know what I just thought about while you was doing that? And that was great. <laughs> Always. But, okay. I, when we I see, did. Roger that. Look, but when we see, and we done all seen it over this space, um, somebody gets shot or whatever. It could be any community. doesn't matter anymore. Uh, get killed. Go find me. Mm -hmm. Is that a blessing? People are asking for, okay, we need this person didn't have anything. We know this person was homeless. We paying for the funeral. We trying mm -hmm. to do something. You wouldn't give to that? Especially that's a vicious, somebody that's a, that's a, Look, that's a vicious cycle. Nephew. It is. That's it a is. vicious cycle. You, when I, when, when I say yes. that, when I say that, I'm saying like, okay, the next person. So, so this particular person didn't have life insurance and they can't pay for a funeral. So I give them money. So what happened to the next person? They don't have life insurance. So somebody need to get life insurance. Somebody need to be educated on getting life insurance and the importance of it to take care of their matters when they pass. Somebody needs to push this. But all, if all you are, uh, you know, are right now, here, here's the money, go ahead. Okay, I give you the money, but however, get your people together and we're gonna talk about this so it won't happen again in this community or uh, it don't happen in this family. In this family, everybody, you know what I'm saying? I agree with Education. you. Yeah. Yes, I, Education. Yes, I understand you can't do anything because right then and there, you gotta, you know, take care of they asking for the money. Mm -hmm. the, the funeral home asking for the money, you know, I get it. But don't just give it and then ride out. Because that's what GoFundMe is. Give it and ride out. And that's why every every death needs a GoFundMe. So nobody is taking accountability for their own at all. 